Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. We are setting it up for our workshop. If we can just wait for a while, for about perhaps three minutes for everyone else to come in and we're going to get started soon, okay? In the meantime, uh, just sit back and relax and breathe. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. How are you guys? Let this, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, you can see that I'm the only one here on video for the rest of you who are with me, feel free to come in and join me in video. So perhaps I know that I'm speaking to you guys instead of straight away to the camera only. All right, shall we get started? Okay, thank you everyone. <clears throat> thank you, thank you everyone for coming in. And I would like to congratulate congratulate you for making time for yourself to improve, to get better, to always constantly finding ways so that your life can be brighter in that sense. Yeah. And today's topic, today's topic is going to be a lot of uh, common sense and reminders. The reason is because Every one of us can actually do this lecture, any one of us, because it is easy 
for us to tell and share others what to do, but it is not easy when you are the one that's experiencing it. Yeah. For those of you who can uh, hear me, Jamie, maybe perhaps you guys can give me a thumbs up in Zoom. Thumbs up. Oh, good. Thank you. So I would like you to consider whenever I share with you something commonsensical, I would like you to consider giving and making solutions that you will act on starting today, not tomorrow, not the day after starting today. So everything has got to be doable. Yeah. So those who are online, hello, hello. Uh, Barasit, Shamima, how are you, sis? Hi, sis Claire. April, thanks for being here, helping me out. Roshni, how Switzerland? All good? <laughs> and uh, sis Mariam also is uh, here. Welcome, you guys. Okay, so <clears throat> there are times that when we are upset, we straight away give up. We don't do anything about making we are, i haven't shown you my screen right hold on let me go back if i see yeah sorry in the in the future if i don't share with you my screen please let me know this is uh this is, okay can you see my screen you guys okay uh test here mm -hmm. So after so long of doing this, I'm still struggling with the tech with so many screens going on. All right. How to bounce back from failure. So there are times where we fall and we give up, right? Like person A here, I failed once and this time it won't be any different. Sometimes we say that we will keep on failing and we keep on saying that over and over again. That can become true. That can be something that even though if it's not true at first, it can manifest itself to be true. And we call it the self-fulfilling prophecy. It becomes right. Whatever you think is going to be true and it's dangerous. So because of that, you need to know that whatever that you did in the past that made you fail, you will make things better the next time around. Even if you fail, is you're not going to fall as hard. And as time goes by, you're going to get better and better and you'll find a, a true solution to whatever challenges that you have and you will hit success, okay? So the first step is not to say things that are negative in that, in that sense so that it doesn't become true. Yeah. The other one also, the same thing, I've done trying, I'm done trying because sooner or later I will always fail. So instead of saying this, you may want to change up the words. I'm done trying. Okay, this is the worst way to do uh, the, the 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 worst way to do it. I'm done trying because sooner or later, I let me just change up. Let me change it up. Wait, okay. Instead of saying I'm done trying, you may want to say that I will try better because I will succeed if I make changes to the things that I've done in the past that led me to this result right now, okay? And the other one is, if you have been trying over and over again and you are lost, you are lost, you don't know uh, what are the solutions to bring you towards success, you need to find a solution for that issue. So every issue, we need to compartmentalize and find solutions for every little problem, issue, situation, instead of looking at it as a big picture. Because if you do that, you will not be able to uh, do a surgical strike right, on that particular issue and it will just get bigger and bigger as a whole. Yeah? At times, we look at the things in a macro perspective, but after you look at things in a macro perspective, you need to go zoom into uh, the little tiniest details yeah and uh, today we'll uh, we'll try and touch a little bit on that so welcome for those of you who have uh, not been to this workshop uh, especially those who will see this in the near future because those who are in the workshop right now you guys are you guys know me and i know you hello <laughs> 
Well, uh, I'm Coach Sham and I've done coaching. I've been coaching for more than 22 years and I've uh, got, I've met quite a fair bit of people. We've got a lot of success with the things that uh, we've been doing in terms of losing weight, gaining fitness and getting back the identity that we had in the past. Let me just uh, see here. So there's someone that wants to come in, but uh, I can't find. Hold up. Oh, Vivian is here. Okay. All right. Again, gentle reminder, whatever stumbling blocks that you may have, Okay, if you have been failing all this while, you need to look at all the stumbling blocks that's right in front of you. And it can be any of this or perhaps some of this that's in front of you, okay, then on a screen. So the things that you may be doing all this while may be too difficult or perhaps you keep on giving yourself excuses. You got no motivation, no discipline. And perhaps you say that you have no time and even if you do all the things that you've been doing and you see no results, or perhaps you cannot wait until you see the tangible results, yeah, you, you need to find solutions for all this so that you can move forward. Yeah? And if you are injured, which I always hear the case that, okay, we are injured uh, or I'm injured and I cannot do any exercises and all, and because of that, I'm not going to do anything. So please have that little shift in mindset so that you will still do the work even though you are injured. Hold on. Not that I want you to make it worse, but do other things that move will move you forward. So let's say if you are having a lower back pain, right? Lower back pain, find a solution to fix that. Perhaps you want to do some recovery work, some stretches, your cat and cow stretch, those yoga stretches. Yeah, or perhaps you want to do those straight legged leg stretches and it cobra stretch, a child pose, find solutions so that you can move forward. Okay. All right, just a reminder that learning is always always uh, about outputs and not about the things that you absorb. So please, please share this with others, whatever that is things that you have no you 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 starting to know or learn and the words are not coming out today uh yesterday you know right election so waited for results <laughs> so I slept a little late so i was a bit naughty there today i'm gonna sleep a bit longer okay so please forgive me if i'm a little slow in terms of coming out with the words <laughs> yeah. hold on guys i still need to let uh, people in, I think April, are you in April? Uh, if not, it goes, okay. Okay, I'm back in. All right. Another gentle reminder is that your exercise sessions is only about 4% of your day. Remember, you need to have the knowledge, skills, and abilities to be able to live life to its fullest in terms of getting the best health, okay? The best health that you uh, can get. And you do this by, by making sure that whatever that you learn, whatever you learn, you share with others, right? And also practice those knowledge by doing them. Yeah, increase your skill level and make sure that you are able to do these skills over and over again. You may need to change your environment. You may need to talk to others, communicate with others so that you are able to improve the skills that you have. Knowledge alone is na -a, nothing. Right? It is all about the doing. Okay. For those of you who want some free protein-based uh, Recipes, you can go to bodythrive.co forward slash uh, lookup recipes, plant-based recipes, or this one, high protein recipes. Uh, they are all free. And why am I sharing this with you guys is because we are having a campaign of giving out these free recipes for those who are interested. Okay. And if you want to look at it from diet perspective, a lot of us feel that we are not eating right and because of this we keep on failing because of the food that goes into our body is not proper so 
you may want to just not only uh, go to perhaps a kopitiam or any kind of cafe and just choose the food from there, but you may want also experiment and try and cook some simple uh, dishes yourself. Yeah? Okay. So, how many of us here have uh, actually failed, hold on, in the areas of exercise, nutrition? Okay, exercise and nutrition. Let's have just these two. Anyone want to share with us your thoughts? Please put and share in the chat box, guys. Okay, I've got April in. Anyone? Mariam, tell us, what are the things that uh, have you failed? Uh, just one thing, just one thing so that we can talk about it a bit more, okay? If you're okay to share, lah. if you're not okay, it's fine. Don't, don't stress out, yeah. I think most of us, right? Most of us in a, uh, at a certain time, we may fail in, yeah, in, in the things that we want to do, like, uh, Mariam shared with us here is that we fail in finding the time and the motivation to move forward. And there can be many, many different uh, reasons for this. So finding the solutions for it is important and finding the solutions that you can do over and over again is more, it's more important than just being just important because what's the point of finding one solution that you can do today but you cannot do tomorrow or next week or next month. So it's something that is uh doable over a long period of time that's what you want to find okay now if if let's say that uh you are down you are down it is okay to stay down okay it is okay to stay down i'm not asking you to bounce up straight away because if you feel that you have failed in something and you feel upset that's your natural feeling right you feel upset you feel depressed like many people that I know, they say that, come on, bounce back quickly, right? Snap out of it, snap out of it. I would say this, stay there for a while. Okay, and the, a while, you need to tell yourself, a while is not like, like a week or a month or what, no. You can stay down for one, two or three days. Okay, it is okay. Because if you keep on pushing hard, like you are down, you fail in... Uh, not exercising or maybe you get injured and all and you straight away say, okay, I'm going to exercise the next day and you are not happy about it, you will always feel that you are being pulled down. But most of the time, most of the time, if you fail in something, let's like say you look at uh, your wing scale and you have gained weight, you have gained weight, right? And you feel depressed. If you let yourself feel a little bit depressed and give yourself a timeline when to snap out of it, there's a high chance you will get better the next, the next day and the next week and so on. The reason is because you have time to internalize, not fight it. Okay, This is my point, from my point of view and from working with many different people. Yeah? It is okay if you want to bounce back quickly, as in like with, on the spot, but if you are down, you want to stay down, please take your short time, not take your time. Take, your, uh, take a short time, feel down, stay down, and then bounce back up at a predetermined time. Okay, I hope I'm making sense, you guys. Yeah? And it's, it doesn't sound like this is coming from a coach or a trainer, right? Usually trainers say, come on, snap out of it. Let's get out of it now. Nah, it's okay. Listen to your heart. Listen to your feelings address the situation and then move forward from there because you know defeat whatever uh, failures that you may have is temporary it's short term it is short term you lose today doesn't mean you're going to lose for the next one year so when you internalize it you think about it you think about it you may find and feel that you are going to be defeated forever but at the same time that subconscious mind will say that no no defeat is always permanent especially if you do something about it, okay? So again, like I said, all these things I'm going to share with you today are going to be very commonsensical. But when you are down there, when you are feeling upset and depressed and feeling that you failed, 
this is where you need to take your notes and read back. <laughs> read back and try to make sense that failure is only a short-term thing. Yeah? And if you were to continue doing the same thing over and over again, after you have failed, you stand up, you do the same thing again, you might fail like over, over and again. So you need to find ways and means to get things done in a new way. In a new way. Change it up. If you don't change it up, uh, no, nah, it's not going to happen. I'll give you an example. Uh, I know a lot of uh, people who exercise every day. Okay, and when they say they want to, they want to lose weight. After one month, two months, three months, they don't lose the weight. They don't lose the inches, but they keep on doing the same exercises over and over and over and over again. No new way. And they keep on failing and they keep on going. It is okay to be resilient. It's important to be resilient. But if whatever that you are doing is not giving you results, I appeal to you, please find other ways of doing the work. Okay? Yeah, next up is this. You got to be honest with uh, yourself, right? The things that you do that made you fail in terms of whatever goals that you may have. Like, let's talk about weight loss for now, okay? Because when you lose weight, lose fat, your health goes up, right? And sometimes when we go out, you know you want to lose weight, right? But you go out, with friends for lunch and you binged. So that is a failure in a sense to many people. And you got to ask yourself whether in the future, when that situation arises again, to be uh, you know, going out with friends, are you able to control your food intake? Because if not, if you don't, if you tell yourself, ah, no worry, next time I'll be okay. If you're not honest with yourself, you will find it in a losing battle again. So, Tell yourself that this is going to be very hard. So find solutions to it. I'll give you an example. If I go out with my friends like today and they will they force feed me, in the future when I want to go out with them, I know they're going to do the same thing. What I will do, because I'm honest with myself that I'm going to lose if they keep on doing this, I will come up with a solution. Okay, a, a solution. And you can see here, uh, it is, take it as a lesson. Find a solution in this example, I will talk to my friends saying that, hey, I'm on a mission. I want to lose another 3% of body fat uh, percentage. I'm going out with you guys, but you guys got to promise me something. So that is one solution uh, that I have learned from this failure of uh, binging with them. Yeah, in that sense. Okay. This goes with fitness also, of course. In If, let's say, you want to clock your 2.4 kilometer run timing and you, your personal best is, let's say, 12 minutes. I'm going to say that, right? And you keep on pushing and pushing, doing the 2.4 nonstop to, tomorrow, the day after, doing the same thing over and over again. You got to tell yourself that, hey, this is not working. This is not working. Instead of doing 2.4 the same way, if you are honest with yourself, then you take it as a lesson to get better. And how you do this, just uh, to share for those of you who want to improve your 2.4 or 5 kilometer run, LSD, okay, long, slow, and distant running is good. It's good. But if you are not improving, you find yourself stagnating and finding yourself that, that you have reached a plateau, change up, okay? Be honest with yourself again, like, you know, I worked out, I, I work out every single time I run, I put in a lot of effort, I feel very tired, but it's not producing results. So what you need to do is change it up. Instead of LSD all the time, you may want to do interval runs. Yeah, interval runs is instead of doing 2.4 kilometers runs uh, all the way, you do perhaps 1.2 and 1.2, or you want to do uh, 600, 600 rest, 600 rest, 600 rest, 600. So these are the different ways that you, when you're honest with yourself, you can find, you, you open up your mind to find solutions. Yeah? 
You can also do fatlik. You know, fatlik is a Swedish word for speed play, where you run relatively fast for let's say 100 meters, and the other 100 meters you go slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. So again, you got to be honest yourself. Of course, you need to have the KSAs, the knowledge, skills, and abilities to do all the other things other than just LSD uh, type of exercises. Right. I hope I'm not going too much into details, you guys. I try to avoid going to uh, the technicalities because this lesson is actually, like I said, common sense. And I'm just reminding you, as you go along, for those of you who just joined us, I want you to think of ways and means. I want you to imagine that you are you failed, right? And I want you to make a course of action what to do uh, as we go along, okay? All right, next one, uh, be resilient. Be resilient in the things that you are doing in terms of finding solutions, especially. If you fail with solution A, be resilient in doing the work with perhaps solution B, right? Not only solution A all the time, okay? All right. And of course, in this topic is be resilient in being honest with yourself, okay? Ha! Huh. Grateful. I'm also really, this one is a good slide to remind myself. Uh, most of the time, we living in, in Singapore, for those of us who are in Singapore, uh, Rosh, in Switzerland, <laughs> uh, we, we are always pushing ourselves for, to get better. And because of that, we seldom, we are seldom grateful enough, I feel. Yeah, I might be wrong because I don't know you. But for me, I don't feel grateful enough with the things that I have until I don't have them. Yeah, until I don't have them. So if you, you have health right now, be grateful that you have health. Yeah, if you're overweight right now, be grateful that you have the, the thoughts, the want to get better. Yeah, don't always push... Uh, yourself uh, down, bring yourself down and get depressed that like you're not losing weight. No, you have to make sure that you are happy with the things, the processes that goes along the way. I would, I want to share with you something, uh, an exercise that I, I do with some of my uh, clients who, who do get depressed at times. One of the things that I want them to do every single morning for a, for a good two weeks is usually wake up in the morning, straight away message me the things they are grateful of that happened on that day. Okay, so I'll give you an example, okay? So uh, I don't know what time you guys wake up. Let's say, do you guys wake up? Five. Five, Amy, five o'clock, all right. Uh, when I sit, what time do you wake up, sir? Five, okay, super. Wow, you all wake up earlier than me. Wonderful. Okay. Five o'clock when you wake up, okay, how many things can you be grateful of at five, like on that day itself? For many people, they will usually say, uh, I just woke up, there's nothing to be grateful of. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, usually it will need to be, they will need to be uh, at, let's say, 12 o'clock or let's say one o'clock, like, oh, I'm grateful that I'm already at work, right? I'm grateful that I'm being productive today, right? That's good. But those who wake up and straight away go through the list of gratitude of being able to breathe, <laughs> being able to wake up at five, right? And perhaps if you have a partner beside you, being grateful that you have a partner, right? Uh, perhaps uh, being grateful that you got a good night's rest sleep. When you have a lot of these gratitude items in your list, generally you will feel happier as you move along your day. Okay, so if you find that you are down mechanically, because when you are down, you're depressed, it's always hard to just bounce up. So just bounce back up and be happy. So just list down the things. I, I'm lazy, so I put everything down on my phone. And um, this one, actually, I learned from uh, my coach because at, uh, <laughs> there was one, the first few times I did this, it was at 6.30 in the morning. And at 6.30, being at a client's house when everyone else is asleep, dark, it's dark outside, groggy and all. So when I'm waiting, I saw an email from him saying, what are the five things you are grateful of this morning? I'm like, 
oh none dude <laughs> everyone is asleep and i have to be there at someone else's house even though i like my client i like my sleep better so that actually helps me um, become more aware of the things that i need to be happy about right i am there i've got a job yeah i am awake being able to uh, be present with my client when he's he's there so these are the things that we may, 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 we may miss. So please have a, a b- gratitude list uh, going on. Yeah. Appreciate uh, the things that you have and uh, don't be weighted down too long with the things that you want. The things that you have need to push you forward. Right? Push you forward. Even if you fail, see where you're at. Usually when you, most of the time who, for people who are, who do the work, yeah, you guys will do the work, you get better and better and better. But when you fall, you are falling from this height here and not down here. But we feel that we are, we've gone all the way down. So be grateful that you have actually went all the way up there. And then uh, with this gratitude that you have, propel yourself further up. Okay. Yeah, forgive yourself. Next one. Do not be too hard on yourself. It is okay to fail. It is okay to fail. And if you go off the path, don't beat yourself up too much. Yeah. If you binge, it is okay. But it is not okay to forgive yourself over and over again saying that it is okay to binge. What I mean is if you binge during lunch or let's say dinner, I, I like to say dinner because dinner is usually social gathering and all. So if you binge during dinner, the next day, it doesn't... you it doesn't give you the permission to binge again. So once you forgive yourself, okay, fine. Uh, I should not have done that. It's okay. I enjoyed it. Let it go and then move on. Get back on the path quickly because you know that unless unless you're telling me that you are perfect, so you can tell yourself that I am not perfect and I'm, I want to move forward by doing imperfect things, right? So that I won't be too hard on myself, okay? And first, learn from the mistakes. If you binge last night, like I said just now, right? Uh, make sure that you take it as a lesson, right? Take it as a lesson and doing, don't do it again or improve. Lah, huh? Improve. Ah, Find your happiness. It's the same. It's similar to being uh, grateful, but let's talk about doing things inside the processes, okay? So whatever that you are doing, if you love to run and it's producing producing result, when you're running, make sure that you love it. Make sure you love it. Make sure that you feel your heart is filled with so much gratitude that you are able to run. Just being able to run is already, to me, is a blessing. Just being able to carve time to play with, uh, let's say, uh, your, your kids doing exercises and all is already a big blessing. But sometimes when we are running, right, we do our 5K run or perhaps we are eating and we are eating healthy, but we beat ourselves uh, too much. Like, this is not healthy enough and all. You need to be analyzing, but you need to also enjoy the process. Okay, enjoy the process. So when you run, look at the trees, enjoy the journey. It's not only about the destination. Again, this is common sense. I'm reminding you this. Uh, I'm also reminding myself because most of the time we want to just go for the goal and we want to just go for the goal. We forget that the journey, if, if we don't make it a happy one, if it's like a hard one all the time, we may not be able to reach the goal because it may not be, uh, it may not be long you may not be able to do it over a long period of time. Okay? Like over and over again, you are not able to do it consistently. Yeah? Uh, do what uh, you love. That, okay, it seems like it's similar. Or love what you do and do what you love. Uh, but for this one is, I'm going to give you a, an example. If you are given a training program by your coach, let's say, yeah? And your coach tells you to do 10 kilometer runs to lose weight, which by the way, you will definitely lose weight if you run 10K every day and you control your food. 
Yeah, but that's not something that uh, is good. I don't prescribe that at all. Zero. I don't do any long runs for weight loss. So anyway, coming back to this. If you like to run, okay, go ahead. But if you don't like to run, make sure you don't love what you, you do, right? Make sure you change it up. Find a different solution, another solution. Okay? Because in order to improve yourself, there's usually more than one route. Find the one that you love. Caveat is this. If the ones that you love are not producing results, then you need to sometimes do the things that you don't like. Go out of your comfort zone. Right? And try to find happiness in it by changing the intensity or perhaps if I hate going to the gym, if you hate going to the gym, perhaps you'll find someone that you like, you love, you are happy with and go to the gym with him or her. Yeah? So find solutions all the time. Make sure that you are happy because ultimately, we are looking for happiness. You want to lose weight? Because why? You want to look good. You look good. You feel energetic. You're productive. And why? Because you are happy. it makes you happy. Yeah? Why not? You enjoy the journey all the way. It's a big mindset, mindset shift for many people. Uh, because we only go for uh, the medal. Only when we get the medal, we are happy. But why wait until the end of the journey? Why not now? Yeah, revisit your reason. I just said just now, for those of us who want to lose weight or perhaps want to get uh, more muscle tone and all, what are your reasons? What are your big whys? You need to always come back to this because when we feel down, when we, are, when we fall, we usually are too hard on ourselves and we don't know why we are doing it like most of the time we're like ah oh, i just lost it i'm going to i'm going to fail again and because of this we don't have the motivation to move forward so to increase motivation you will need to state down again all your why's why you need to start moving again why you need to start running again why you need to start eating healthy again yeah find your why your big why and then you want to go into your small little why's or from that big why you can branch out to the many different why's yeah if i'm not making sense let me know because i think a lot of people just uh, you, you guys understand where i'm coming about uh, where i'm coming from yeah <laughs> yeah i'm just going to go slowly forward okay review always review your why's always review uh, in order to recover oftentimes you need to review the reasons why you wanted to achieve something in the first place mm -hmm. and revalidate your reason analyze if it is still important for you finding a strong enough reason will make you be able to bounce back from any failure so let me just uh, talk about this part here give you an example of doing weight training okay so if let's say you want to increase your muscle mass or you want to increase your strength you go to the gym over and over again and you don't find a results for that. And because of that, you feel down. You feel that you don't want to move forward anymore. Like, what's the point? This, what's the point phrase is why I have this, this slide here. Yeah, what's the point? The point is A, B, C, D, E, F. And it's in you. So you got to list them down. List them down. Otherwise, you'll just have that first flash thought in your mind. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Yeah. But in fact, there's so many benefits of you getting your goals of increasing your muscle mass or perhaps increasing strength. So you need to revalidate your reasons. If, let's say, you say that uh, you want to you wanna get stronger because you want to enter the strongman competition, but actually it's not a strong reason, then it's hard for you to bring up your motivation. Okay, that's one example. If let's say, I'll give an example, right? If let's say you want to lose weight, okay, just to impress other people, which is a strong point, for, uh, a strong reason for many, many uh, of us, it is okay because we want to, when we impress others, we get our levels of confidence up. Impress does not mean show off, right? Yeah. So it is okay, but usually the stronger, the stronger reasons will come from inside, okay? The innate reasons, their intrinsic motivation, 
The reason why I want to lose weight is because I want to have the energy. I want to have uh, the ability to uh, wake up in the morning uh, feeling fresh instead of like being groggy. So many, many reasons coming in from the inside. Yeah. So that's a lot stronger, a lot better. Mm. For those of you who want these high quality notes, please go to gurufitness.com forward slash notes. Done. <laughs> so we got all the four, uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, six points there. And as I've shared with you earlier on, all these are common sense. Common sense, like some of you who are watching this, perhaps not you guys right now in the, in the workshop, but those who are seeing this in the future, uh, by video, when I re replay this, you may say that, like, what's the point of going to this workshop? All these are common sense, one, right? It is, you know it is, but it is the solutions that you need to find for yourself. I cannot give you the solution because your situation is different than mine. Yeah? So if you fall, you need to know how to stand up. And there are many ways to stand up. That's a figurative uh, way of saying it. Yeah, there are many ways of uh, standing up. You can have someone help you. You can have your uh, crutches. You can hold on to something stable and pull yourself up, or you can will yourself up, increase your motivation, find your whys, and move forward. Okay, so those are the solutions that you need to come up uh, with. Not those solutions, but those are some of the solutions that you may want to uh, think about. And Every situation might be different anyway. So always list down. I like to write down because when I feel upset, I don't know about you guys, when I feel upset, I like to keep things to myself and it's bad, right? It's bad when it's, uh, I, I just, you keep it to yourself. It's good to talk to, about it to others. So if you're an introvert like me, I know it's hard to believe I'm introvert. <laughs> if you're an introvert, yes, I mean, I am. If you're an introvert, you want to write it down. The tactile feel like that will usually connect you with yourself. It's like a, it's like a loop. Yeah. And it helps in the thinking process. You give it a try. Okay. I might just uh, be saying it for fun, but uh, give it a try and tell me whether it works or not. Yeah. Okay. So the, th the things that I shared with you today, uh, don't beat yourself up for too long. If you are down, you can stay down for a short while. Give yourself a timeline. Give yourself a timeline. Okay. And uh, perhaps I'll share with you a so, something about me, something personal. Let me see how many people are online. Not many. Okay. So something personal. So I do have a, a family history of uh, some of... Oh, okay, never mind. I think I better not... <laughs> <laughs> let me let me rephrase that. <laughs> it's a bit too personal. Let me rephrase that. I get upset quite easily, lah. Okay, let's say I get upset quite easily, and there was uh, a time where when I get upset, I get I will lock myself up in my room, okay, and I will close the blinds and keep my room all dark. I think I know. I I think you know where I'm I'm coming from with this. I some of you might identify uh, what it is, but. Yeah, and, and how I got out of this is by uh, this, this weighted down feeling is very real, like heavy heart, even wanting to open my door and talk to my mom. Okay, not, 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 not her fault, lah, by the way. It's just I don't want to talk to anyone. So I like to keep things to myself. And like, oh, I just want to curl up into this fetal position whenever I'm down. And this was 20 years ago. And before that. So throughout my teenage years, I was having this issue. Uh, and coming from someone who is an athlete. Yeah? So how I managed to, to get out of it, right? and now so far, okay. Whenever I feel down, I give myself a timeline, a deadline. Yeah? So I experimented with one week of staying in a room, which was uh, very bad. One week, all dark, go to the toilet to do the necessary, and then uh, just have my food, that's it, and come back into my room. And... Because I give myself a deadline of one week, right? I was trying to find solutions on how to do it. And you know, it's very, very funny because I was so sad. I was uh, binging. That time got no Netflix. Huh? I was binging on comedy shows. Yeah. Because I was telling you, I'm telling you now, it is an experiment. So just by laughing, <laughs> forcing myself to laugh, it made me get out of that feeling of sadness. Okay? Again, this is... It might not be you. I'm just saying here is that I give myself a timeline. And from there, from that one week of being upset, 
I give myself perhaps three days or even two days or even one day. Sometimes when I interact with someone that I love or I care about and we have, let's say, a, a fallout, that <laughs> hits me most. And uh, usually I will say, okay, I'm going to be upset over this for about two days and that's it. After that, I'm going to move on and it helps. Yeah, Some people might need longer than that. Okay, uh, next one is uh, be honest with yourself. Make sure that you list down all the things that uh, have caused you to fail temporarily and then find solutions to it. Always be grateful. Have a gratitude journal if you can. That would be good. Every single morning, if you can wake up and list down five things that make you happy, that is a good start. The next step is every, I want to say every hour, but it's a bit too much. So maybe at 12 noon, six o'clock in the evening and even before you sleep. Before you sleep is another good thing uh, to think about the things that make you happy because if you don't, you are not, basically you're not giving yourself a pet uh, in the back of the things you have you've done. Yeah, You're always thinking about what do I do tomorrow? How do I uh, make this better? And you're always pushing, pushing, pushing. And then there might be a day that you might break down or, you know, or perhaps fall deep into your sadness, which I hope nobody uh, would uh, get to that level. Yeah? Forgive yourself. It is okay to fail. Always remember that we are all human. We need to do things imperfectly. Okay, I, uh, this one, let me just share with you guys. Some of you might message or email me because you heard me say perfect practice makes perfect, correct? So do things imperfectly and once you get into the groove of things, make sure that you do as perfect as possible. Okay, as perfect as possible. Again, if you fail, drop back again, do imperfect things. At, at, at the different points in your journey, Okay, even in one whole day, right? Like I'll give you an example. If let's say I feel very sleepy, like this morning, I want to go for Zoom boot camp. Also, I don't want to wake up, right? I like really drag myself out of my bed and that is really imperfectly walking. But once I'm up, I'm showering, I need to make sure that I am uh, energetic and I do my form correctly. So just that silly example shows that you need to start doing things imperfectly, but don't stay too long in there and then just move more towards uh, perfect. And the thing about perfect practice is this, when you are at the gym, when you are exercising, if you keep on doing imperfectly, you might get injured. You might not get your results. Yeah, You might, uh, you might even, because people will look at you, people who love you look at you and they will follow you because you are a leader even though you don't realize it. So if you keep on doing the wrong things, others might follow. Yeah? And it becomes, again, it becomes something that you practice because it's habit. Yeah? So perfect practice as much as possible. Go for perfect practice. It makes perfect. Okay. Find your happiness. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Not only the destination. Yeah? And revisit your reasons. Why you want your goal yeah so all this here if you realize nothing about uh finding the reasons so i have put it at the back there because every morning every morning if you are able to tell yourself why you need to be doing a b c d e f usually your will okay your will and also your motivation levels will go higher because if not what's the point of doing this Right. It's, it's ironical because we know why, but we keep on saying that over and over again. So instead of that, like why and what are the things I need to be, uh, why am I doing this? And for who? For what reason? Right? How will this benefit my work? How will this benefit my relationships? How will this uh, benefit myself in five, ten years time? So these are the things that you need to, be, to keep on telling yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, all of you guys have seen this screen before. Talk about this. Exercise is only 4% of your time, which is about one hour. Remember that you need to build the knowledge, skills, and abilities so that you can thrive in the other areas of your life, which will build up your, your health, also your fitness. Yeah? Okay, let me move forward here. Mm. 
So for those of us who are interested to come into the next workshop, oh, it's tomorrow. <laughs> I'm looking at the day. <laughs> tomorrow, eleven thirty, and this is how to beat procrastination. Yeah, so if you are one who keep on saying that, okay, wow, this plan is so good, I'm going to start tomorrow. <laughs> that's procrastinating. Start today. If there's a plan, start today. Start small, imperfect at first, and then go for perfect actions, which will lead to perfection. Okay, so we're going to talk about procrastination uh, tomorrow. And usually this is... Uh, I, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but those who come to the workshop, usually you guys don't have this issue. You are here. Yeah, you are here. Some of us who say that, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to improve myself. I'm going to go for a workshop that will make me better. Perhaps next week. That's why they don't come to this workshop at this point in time. Yeah, unless they're very serious. Because once they come into a particular workshop, a, a class, we know that they have already taken action. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I'm not welcome all, uh, any of you. Please do come in and keep me company so that I can chit-chat to uh, all of you. Yeah? So tomorrow at 11.30, uh, please do your feedback forms, which is at the bottom here. This one goes to ActiveSG. And the one on top here goes to me. So I can see the, your thoughts. Oh, no, I, can see. I can read the things that I can improve from you. Yeah, at the same time also, it is accountability. What are the things that you are going to do starting today on how to get better? In this case, how to bounce back from failure quickly. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's the end of the workshop, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I would like to thank every one of you for making time. Thank you so much for being with me. And I want to thank Sports SG, Active SG for sponsoring our workshops. It's supposed to be half an hour, and I think I've uh, I have improved. I put myself. Uh, <laughs> I've improved because the first workshop was what one and a half hours. Huh? I'm gonna try and uh, bring it closer and closer towards uh, thirty minutes. I love spending time with you guys. So uh, thank you so much for listening to me repeat things over and over again. <laughs> yeah, because I'm also reminding myself. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day ahead. And if you have time, I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. All right. See you, everyone. Bye, bye. Let me just have a screenshot. Okay.